Um, so this is my husband, Jim. Hello. And um, he is actually a retired police officer for 32 years. He was um, military, then uh, police officer, and then actually a detective, um, plainclothes detective. And so he loves Tupperware today. <laughs> we have traveled the world, and it's been so exciting, our journey in Tupperware. And I will be I, I'll be totally honest with you, it won't take, won't take very long to find out that when I joined Tupperware, um, we were young <laughs> and poor. <laughs> um, and um, I wouldn't say we were poor. It just took a lot to make ends meet. And Jimmy was working three jobs, 3 to 11, 11 to 7, 7 to 3 on his regular job, and then working three side jobs. And when I joined Tupperware, what I was so excited about was how I could make so much money in just a couple hours and didn't have to put the kids in daycare, didn't have to worry about, um, you know, having Jimmy get so exhausted uh, working three jobs plus being a police officer and carrying a gun and being three exhausted. Shifts. Three different shifts. He worked three jobs. Well, he yeah, worked, I worked uh, side jobs. Three side jobs. We worked like road jobs, bar jobs, stuff like that. But yeah. Yeah, you want me to name him? I oh. still remember. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, you can name him. He's worked Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, yeah, used that's to work, a security uh, job. St. Bart's, Bart's Party Bart's, Center. Yeah. He used to work the Islander Bar and Grill. He used to work Red Roof Inn all night long yeah. for security after I got off a 3 to 11 shift. Yeah. And, a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and so, needless to say, I guess there's more than three. But um, what I really loved was being able to make so much money in a short amount of time, going out and doing a Tupperware party. And today, I think about the fact, oh my gosh, oh, I would be going crazy on and being able to do, uh, sit at home and work my business off my laptop. I would be going crazy on that. I still go crazy on that. I love it so much. But um, so tonight, we're going to have Jimmy join us. And he is, um, he is, uh, he loves charcuterie boards. I love charcuterie boards. So we all, right? But he's really gotten perfected at it. So take it away, Jimmy. Show them what you're doing tonight. Well, we're, we're doing something a little bit different. Yeah. A little bit different than a charcuterie board because we're not using a board. We're using this crystal wave. Which is like a charcuterie serving. board well, yeah. on the go. We'll call this an almost a bowl. See, it's kind of thin. But uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do something. The reason we're going to do this instead of a board is because we can do it and transport it. We're going to do like a red, white, and blue theme for the fourth. So, uh, first so thing. a perfect idea to take with you if you're going to a friend, friend's family picnic uh, for the 4th of July. You can walk in with it, set it down, take the seal off, and boom. It's beautiful it's, and ready to yeah, go. Right, right. Just gently transfer it. For and it's, going. it's going to be a little different because we're going to make sure we add the colors. And usually if you do a charcuterie board and you do some like meats and cheeses, you're not going to get a lot of the different colors. In there. But we're going to put some, uh, some sweets in there, some candies. To kind of get that red, white, and blue feeling. Uh, first thing we're going to do, though, one thing we would we we're going to do on every charcuterie board is do our little um, meat rows. And uh, I've got this one started. We're using a tumbler, okay. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but uh, the ideal meat meat to use for it is Genoa salami because it's uh, it's very pliable. You could kind of use basically go round and around and around the cup, and then you just kind of push it down. And it kind of looks like a a rose. So I've got this one started. I'm going to finish it off with. And so you're just rotating. Yeah, all just the way rotating around the all the way around. Lapping it over. All the way around like that. And then what we do is, once you get it on there, you're just going to put it right down in the middle. Oh my gosh, it's so Boom. cute. See that? It's so pretty. Can you guys see it again? Look at that. It looks totally like a rose. And so that's the serves as the center. Yeah, that's going to be the center of our little board here. And I'll put this behind this little detail right now. And what we're going to do is the legs broke on that chin. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do. Shaky. Yeah. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to put some blue tortilla chips. This is for some of our blue. And we're going to basically just put those around our board, our uh, meat flour. Kind of make it kind of cool. So we got red and blue so far. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, yeah, we do. We do okay. that. And we're going to use some of our little uh, crystal wave here, put some more color in here. We got red, white, and blue MMs. So we're going to add some of those. We're going to put those in here. Okay. And we've also got, uh, let me see what else we have here. Uh, oh, we got, like I said, there's going to be some sweets in here too. So we've got some little Clash keys that are going to be adds a little bit of color, some red, kind of white, but it's brown. And we're going to add some yogurt covered pretzels. Ooh. Over 
over here on the side over here. Oh, this is so cute. And to make it more like a real charcuterie board, uh, we're going to add, well, this is, we need to add some fruit in here. We need to add some raspberries. We're gonna run out, we're probably just gonna put these in here as opposed to putting them in these in yeah, bowls because, yeah, them, yeah, don't need them. So we're gonna add some red raspberries in here. And we've also got some blackberries, which really look kind of blue, more than black. Mm -hmm. Throw those in here too. And then we've also going to basically keep it more like a real charcuterie board. We're going to add some cheese and some crackers. And so we've got some, going to be some white cheese. so cute and we're going to put some crackers in there and you can do any, any kind of crackers you want really because you're not going to get crackers that are going to look like white crackers so you just put some yeah. crackers in there and i guess we're just going to spread the m ms around another thing you can do if you're if you were using an actual board instead of the the uh the bowl or the serving tray, uh, you could uh, put more of these in here. Like if you wanted to add like some uh, queso blanco for the uh, tortilla chips, you could put that in there. You could add some more, uh, like you got, these are little- Hot. No, they're not hot. What are they? They're, they're peanut, uh, pretzel peanut butter bites with little oh. white chocolate. I need to see if they're hot. <laughs> they're not hot. They are not no, hot. No, they're not. <laughs> I told you. Okay, so basically, yeah, this is not, uh, this is a little variation of a charcuterie board. It's and, so cute, Jim. You did a great job. All right. And Do you want to just dump these right there in the corner just to make it look charcuterie? Please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that, that made it look charcuterie. Right there. But this, see, this is, this is, kind of an idea uh obviously if you had a little more room you want to spread it out and you did an actual board you could do a lot more wood you could add more stuff to it and keep with try to keep with that red white and blue theme we lost a lot of blue because we don't have as many many even what well, you got the over here but yeah we more m ms there's never a problem with more put them in the middle of the meat road what the hell? Oh, okay. all right fill up the meat roads with some m ms i think you got all your basic food groups covered there <laughs> So there it is, another and raspberry. another raspberry, um, and then we can, we should be able to still seal her up. Seal her up. On the go, there you go. And you can show up with that and say, "Look what I did." <laughs> so, like good. Okay, go. so we'll put a picture of this on tonight. 